Hello, hi everyone. First of all, I welcome to you all for this section. My name is P. Harisha. I am from BZC second year. I am the student of TTWRDC Women's Method. Today, my topic is about excretory system. Let's see the excretory system in human beings. Excretory system in human beings. In the human beings, the respiratory excretory organ is the kidney and in an unicellular organisms the skin is the excretory organ and the sweat is the excretory material in our human beings the excretory organ is kidney and the excretory material is a urine in an multicellular organisms specialized organs are present to perform the excretion the excretory organ is the kidney and let's see the structure of kidney this is the kidney kidney is red and pinkish color okay this are bean in bean shape and we let's see the height weight width of the kidney height height of the kidney is 11 centimeters width of the kidney is 6 centimeters and the thickness of the kidney is 3 centimeter and the weight of the kidney is different for male and female in the males 150 grams in the females 135 grams in females weight of the kidney and let's see the urinary system okay in the urinary system right kidney and the left kidney and the two ure ureters these are the ureters this is the urinary bladder and the urethra from the urethra the urine is passed out okay let's see the internal structure of the kidney in the mammalian kidney, the cortex, the finger-like projection is medulla and the nephron and red colored is an renal artery and blue colored it's an renal vein and it's downside it's urethra it's an pelvis okay. And let's see one by one. This is the cortex. Cortex is the outer part which takes off micro filter or skin or scene. And next is an medulla. Medulla. Medulla is the inner part where long tubes of filters are seen. And the next is the pyramid in the pyramid to which the connection duct of microfibrils open and the next one is an renal artery this the red red one is an renal artery and the renal artery it is an vessel which carry blood to the kidney renal artery which carry blood to the kidney and after we see the next it's an renal vein this is the vessel which carry blood from the kidney and the artery which carry blood to the kidney and artery which carry blood to the kidney okay and after is pelvis pelvis is the part which urine flow from the filters okay these are this is pelvis and after is urethra uterus uterus the two left and right is present the vessels which carry urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder which carries urine to the kidney for from for urinary bladder which carries urine and after it's an urinary bladder urinary bladder it's it is an elastic in nature it stores urine 
this is the front view and this is an side view of the urinary bladder let's see the structure and function of nephron and the nephron functional and structural unit of kidney the nephron is the structural and function unit of kidney approximately 1 million of nephrons are present in the kidney each nephron has two components vascular component and the tubular component let's see the nephron one nephron okay in the nephron we see it's an bowman's and this is the nephron nephron is a bowman's capsule this is the bowman's capsule and the proximal convoluted tubule it's a loop of henley it's a descending means it's downside it's descending limb it's ascending limb and distal convoluted tubule and pro and uh, it's an collecting duct it's an collecting duct okay first bowman's capsule and proximal convoluted tubule it's an descending limb ascending limb and tu distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct okay this is the structure of nephron let for the formation of urine it takes place the three process okay first one let's see the first one it's an glomerular filtration being of the process beginning of the process a process by which the blood blood goes through the glomula much of its fluid contain both useful chemical and dissolved waste material soaks out the blood through membrane which is filtered and flow into Bowman's capsule okay and it's in second one is in tubular reabsorption from the tube the a movement of substance out of the renal tubule back into the blood capillary located around the tubules is a uh, the tubular reabsorption and the third one is tubular secretion and secretion means what secretes okay the substance not already in the filtration duct eliminating uh, the substances have been reabsorbed by positive process uh, like urine and uric acid ridding the body of excess potent uh, potassium ions control in ph and i will see the process of the urine formation the it's an glomerular filtration in the last to bowman's capsule bowman's capsules too these the these are in isotonic condition while they are enter into to the loop of henry in the loop of henry descending limb from uh, descending limb they are the and the glomerular filtration is over here and the tubular secretion due to the tubular secretion the isotonic is converted into hypertonic okay and the and the it is an it's a descending limb it's an ascending limb is an ascending limb and the second process is completed is a secretion tubular secretion and this is an this waste material is an hypertonic in condition while they are uh, enter into the distal convoluted tubule they are from the secretion of uh, from the blood vessels they are convert hypertonic waste matter is converted into hypotonic okay and after it's uh, the in a plus and k plus uh, h plus and k plus ions are are secreted in the waste matter is the urea urea is in hypertonic and conduct uh, hypertonic in condition and is 
enters to the collecting duct. This is the formation of urine. This is the formation of urine human. For your better understanding, I will show one animation video for you. Okay, I am removing my camera for your uh, not this multicellular organisms specialized organs are evolved to perform excretion excretion in human beings the chief organ that is involved in, in the excretion process is kidneys the excretory system of human beings consisting of one a pair of kidneys right kidney and the left kidney two a pair of urethras right urethra and the left urethra three a urinary bladder for a urethra kidneys are located in the abdomen on each side of the backbone kidney is a basic filtration unit it consisting of a very thin wall blood capillaries each capillary cluster is associated with the cup shaped end of a tube that collects filtrated urine each kidney has a large number of filtration unit called nephron packed closed together the waste products are nitrogenous waste that are collected from the blood in the form of urine. The produced urine passes through urethras into urinary bladder. The urine is stored in the urinary blood and the urine is released out through urethra. Now let me learn how to how the urine is produced in the process of urine formation take place in three steps one filtration two reabsorption three is secretion filtration the nitrogenous wastes such as urea uric acid are removed from blood in the kidneys the process of urine formation take place in the nephron reabsorption some substances like glucose amino acid salts and major water which are filtered along with the nitrogenous wastes are reabsorbed the amount of water reabsorbs depends on excess and dissolved wastes along with waste secretion. Reabsorbed components of waste are secreted in the blood which the urine flows through the tubular part of nephron in the kidney. In the kidney mechanism of urination, the urine form in kidney enters the long tube called urethra. The one end of the urethra is connected to kidney and other end of the urethra is connected to the blood capillary. Urine is stored in the urinary bladder and the lip pressure of urinary bladder leads to urge to pass urine. When it reaches the pressure to you urge the pass in urine process out through urethra how how we can hold the urine until it reaches to urge to pause urine has urinary bladder is muscular and it's the, under the control of our nervous system we can usually control the urination after the admission video you all know the formation of urine let's see what are the functions of kidney the main function is maintaining balance regulation of fluid blood body fluid volume and osmolality regulation of electrolyte balance regulation of acid base balance excretion of waste products like urea amino uh, amino acids drugs toxic substances production of and secretion of hormones and regulation of blood pressures these all are the functions of kidney the main is in 
what is the function of kidney the main function is an removing of waste materials from our body is the function of kidney and maintaining the hormonal balance okay and maintaining the blood pressure these are the functions of kidney and let's see the what are the kidneys the common kidney diseases Le um the kidneys the common kidney diseases and the symptoms the kidney diseases are the um, kidney disease symptoms um decreased urination while the urination process the quantity is less decreased is the symptom of the kidney disease blood in the urine is the symptom of the kidney disease vomiting swollen hands puffing around eyes and the itching sleep disturbance high blood pressure loss of appetite these are all the symptoms of the kidney diseases if you are or suffering with the kidney diseases what are the symptoms all the diseases we uh, all the diseases have the symptoms for the kidney diseases these are all the symptoms be remembered this this is useful to our the uh, daily life okay these four are the common kidney diseases kidney cancer kidney cyst stone in stone in kidney infections these are all the common kidney diseases let's see one by one first is an kidney cyst in the kidney the cyst are the formed these are the cysts are formed on the kidney and the next one is the tumors the these are called the kidney tumor tumors and the next you have the diagram see clearly and see clearly there is a difference in three okay first one this is the first one is healthy kidney the second is the stones in between the stones are present these are the kidney stones and this is the polycyst the cyst are in the cyst are in the kidney these are the cysts and let's see the another the kidney stones how they cause what are the symptoms and the treatment of the kidney stones let's see one by one okay first in the common human beings the common diseases is the most of the common diseases from the four is the stones kidney stones most of the people are suffering with the stones there are four types of stones are uh, affected by the human beings calcium stones uric acid stones and steroid stones and cystine stones these are the four types of stones these are the types of stones calcium stone uric acid stone steroid stone and cystine stones these are the four stones for that what are the symptoms this is an stones are is the kidney diseases for the kidney diseases the symptoms we see but after for this also we are seeing the symptoms warm thing severe pain in lower abdomen the kidney is present at the lower abdomen okay that's why the severe pain is occur sweating fever pain while during passing while you are passing urine it's pain is a symptom of the kidney disease is in stones okay let's see the kidney stones are form if then wala food increase in oxalates in our food habits um high in oxalates it leads to kidney stones excessive protein intake while we are taking the excess amount of protein intake it leads to kidney stones and the side effects of medicine while we are using the medicine for each and every thing we are using nowadays we are using most of the drugs for that let's do that less consumption of water
less consumption of water it leads to kidney disease we drink more and more water through that you can improve your kidney uh, to avoid the kidney stones can be heredity problem also our gen our generations are suffering with the kidney stones for the heredity problem we are also have the kidney stones this is a heredity problem also the kidney stones are formed okay and while we are seeing the symptoms itching body pains and the sweat and the warm things for that if you have to consult one doctor doctor diagnoses the diagnosis and the test the urine lysis blood test x ray uh, ct scan for that for your better um, for your betterment of your health the di doctor diagnoses you okay be aware to that and if you are suffering with the kidney stones we have lithiotherapy lithiotherapy uh, lithium means rock therapy means treatment rock treatment for the kidney we have the rocks for the treatment of the kidney is in lithiotherapy high energy stroke waves are used to break down the large kidney stone into smaller pieces these pieces can be easily get out to the body through urine while the passing urine the stones are uh easily uh, come from the urine i i will show the process this is the lithiotherapy process is the strong fo focused stroke waves are giving to the the stones or uh, in the kidney stones for that focused strokes they are crushed like this and the come out from the urine come out from urine is the treatment of lithiotherapy okay and our elders say that prevention is better than cure okay let's see the prevention drink plenty of water drink um 5 to 6 liters of water for every day and use low calcium and sodium diet okay don't use the more and more calcium and sodium food habits be decrease that increasing intake of increase intake of uh, fruit juice coconut water and this uh, and this minimizes the formation of kidney stones okay be diet the juices fruit juice and coconut water it's helpful for our better uh, and the to lead the healthy lead healthy life okay avoid stone formation food such as spanish and nuts don't use the um, mo most of the time don't use the spanish and nuts it's also infect to our kidney they may the stones will be form okay be safe be happy be protect your kidney and be happy i'm hoping this section is useful for you thank you